Today is Tuesday, May 10th, 2016. Welcome to your daily dose of MMA Now. Paige Van Sant is headed to the semifinals on Dancing with the Stars, where her Game of Thrones inspired dance was reminiscent of Michael Jackson's thriller. Do we have footage of that? No? It was my shot at Dancing with the Stars. Democratic presidential hopeful Bernie Sanders did something that Conor McGregor wouldn't do. He went to Stockton, California for a campaign visit. So wolf tickets, homie. You'll be there or what? You're gonna be there or what? Don't be showing us no wolf tickets, homie. The Mayweather versus McGregor plot thickens. Floyd Mayweather Sr. said a fight between his son and McGregor would do even bigger than a rematch against Manny Pacquiao. Floyd Sr. said he's okay with his son fighting an MMA superstar as long as it adheres to these rules. Lois is in the contract. There is no swiping the feet. There's no swiping kicking. The feet. Well, swiping the legs. He's boxing. Oh, oh well. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I, I, I mean, I'm through talking. <laughs> Ain't nothing else to talk about. Oh, hey, nothing else to talk about, man. It looks like Floyd Sr. started a new hashtag. No swiping. UFC light heavyweight champion Daniel Cormier engaged in a war of words with interim champ John Jones. On Twitter, DC said that he dropped his teammate and middleweight champion Luke Rockhold for the first time in seven years at AKA. John Jones replied to the tweet on Twitter, which he quickly deleted, and said, what a douche. UFC 200 is exactly two months away. Look for more in this exciting Twitter beef. Coming off a TKO loss to Stefan Struve, Antonio Bigfoot Silva took to Instagram to gripe about his critics. On Instagram, he invited anyone, critics alike, to come to American Top Team for a sparring session. And in case you missed it, in case you missed it, Bellator's featherweight Jordan Parsons was hit by a driver that fled the scene in Delray Beach, Florida on May 1st. In an effort to save his life, Parsons had half his right leg amputated. Sadly, Parsons died on May 4th, but after a massive search, 28-year-old Dennis Wright was arrested and a blood-smeared Range Rover was recovered. Wright allegedly tried to have the Range Rover repaired by an auto body shop, but the owner refused. Wright is now being held on a $450,000 bail. Well, that'll do it for today, and we'll see you tomorrow on your daily dose of MMA Now.